Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have like potentially one of the most unflattering dresses on ever. Like it's just so baggy. Um, so it's just not very figure hugging, but I didn't wanna, I wanted to wear something different basically. Something that I've not worn in a video before and I quite like the sleeves of it. It's giving me like ABBA, you know, the scene in Mamma Mia. It's giving me those kind of vibes because of the sleeves. Um, so that's what I'm wearing for today's video. And today's video is a little bit better. Let me try that again. I'm wearing something a little bit different for today's video. Um, not that different. I mean, it's beige, it's neutral. It's just not the most flattering thing anyway. But I thought I'd do a bit of a different video today. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna title this just yet. And I feel like I need to make a little bit of a disclaimer at the start of this video. So yeah, like I said, I don't know what I'm gonna be titling this video, but basically today's video is like a styling ugly Zara items sort of video and I say ugly in quotations because obviously that's very subjective and I'm not saying these are ugly items I just at the moment I can't think of a better word to use for the thumb um for the title of the video a little bit clickbait and all that you know but yeah I'm not trying to offend anyone with this video these items aren't ugly they're just items that I personally wouldn't choose and they're a little bit out there but I have seen some people wear these items and they look really good in them so I'm not saying like if you wear these items you're ugly or you've got bad taste or whatever it's just bear in mind I wear neutral clothing all the time none of these clothes are neutral they're very colorful there's a lot going on so they're just out of my comfort zone and not something I normally go for um but I just don't really know what other words to use in the title so I hope that makes sense I don't want anyone to take offense to this video or anything and if you don't feel like you're going to like this video just don't watch it I don't want anyone getting upset or anything because it's really not my intention I'm just wanting to do a bit of a different video today I thought I'd change it up a little bit do something a little bit different I've seen some bits from Zara recently that I'm a bit like what the hell so I thought I'd buy some or like order some and try and style them into an outfit if that makes sense so that is basically today's video so that'll be blabbering on anymore because I have rambled quite a bit but I just wanted to like make sure people weren't getting the wrong end of the stick with this video um without me blurring on anymore i'm just gonna get on with the video and i will link everything down below because most of these bits are still available on zara um and i know that some of you guys will have really good styles so you will be able to style these really well so if you want them i'll link them down below so first off i have this this is a shirt with fish on it in particular carp it is literally titled on zara i think carp print shirt i just don't get how they've made a sh like a shirt out of, not out of fish but like why have they put fish on a shirt do you know what i mean but this one is the most neutral out of all of them because it's got a nice creamy base so i feel like this is the one that i could probably work with the most so first off for this shirt i'm thinking this is actually it says it's from their like lingerie range so i think it's meant to be pajamas but we're just gonna ignore that but i'm thinking this is like a little bikini cover up because on holiday cute little fish tropical fish i'm thinking we could kind of try and play it down that route rather than play it down muddy carp in an english lake with water rats and gross stuff kind of route so i'm thinking this nice big sun hat and when i say big sun hat i'm not joking i have all my sun hats in the loft at the moment like with all my summer clothes so i just ordered one from pretty little thing um for the purpose of this video and the only ones they had in stock were giant ones so there we go but yeah basically a big straw sun hat some sunglasses and then wearing this is like a bikini cover up so you've got a bikini underneath maybe have a little bit showing to be honest i'm not sure this is actually going to be long enough for that Mm, maybe it might be a little bit short but we're gonna make it work but i'm thinking that could actually look kind of cute summary a little bit off the shoulder we could hopefully make it work and then i did also get the matching trousers yes this is a cord it's a two-piece set so it's basically the exact same thing just these trousers now i did have to get these in a size large because this set is actually in the sale now and it's like sold out which is like amazing like i want to see how people are going to be styling this so the only size i could get these trousers in was a size large they are going to be a bit big for me but just bear that in mind for the trial and clips they might not look the best but there we go so for these trousers i'm thinking like they are actually quite a nice fit of trousers and like i said these are actually i think pajamas so just something to bear in mind but i feel like the fit of these trousers is quite nice they've got like a nice drawstring waist so what i'm thinking is wearing these trousers with like a white shirt tucked in and like unbuttoned i'm thinking that could kind of work like if ever in doubt chuck on a white shirt and unbutton a little bit make it look a little bit more sexy and i feel like that will then make the outfit look better that is what i'm hoping for anyway so yeah like a white shirt tucked in unbuttoned maybe some blue heels to tie in with the blue of the trousers i don't think i have any blue heels so i might just have to improvise 
improvised but i think some blue like simple thin strap like um court heels would look really nice and then i'm gonna pair this with a blue bag which i've got from teddy blake i do have a discount code for teddy blake i think so if i do i'll link it down below but yeah nice bright blue bag and i feel like that could kind of work maybe for like drinks or something i mean this would definitely not be my go-to outfit for drinks but I feel like we can maybe make it work. And these are comfy. They've got a nice elasticated waistband. So you can eat and drink as much as you want. And you're not going to have to worry about bloating. Because you can just extend them. And they're going to stretch with you. And then going back to the shirt. Again, we're going for the unbuttoned vibe. It's a little bit sexy and stuff. I'm thinking the shirt, unbuttoned again. So we've got a bit of your cleavage showing. With your decolletage, your chest and everything. Tucked into, blah, 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 tucked into some blue mum jeans. And then pair it with some blue heels again. Which again, I don't have. I didn't think to order any for this video which is really stupid because i only just thought about it now but i'm thinking that like i said mum jeans unbuttoned blue heels so similar to the trousers but almost like the reverse if you know what i mean and then thirdly this one is giving me like art teacher mum doing the school drop off and she's a bit of a quirky cool mum sort of vibes um i'm thinking the shirt buttoned up not like all the way to the top like a priest but like buttoned up so we're um like not having our chest out sort of thing and then we're gonna wear it some mum jeans some converse or some just like simple white trainers and then chuck a tote bag on with it i feel like a tote bag could look quite cool i feel like the background color of this shirt is almost like a traditional tote bag color in a way like a kind of beigey color so that might work it might look a little bit mumsy like i said but there was absolutely nothing wrong with that um so that is the fish set styled a few different ways i haven't actually tried any of them on yet so whether they're gonna work i don't know but what i have the ideas in my head i feel like i've styled them somewhat okay next up i have another sort of two piece these items go together and there is a lot going on with these there is a lot of color a lot of pattern so opposite to what i would normally wear but i'm gonna give it a go so these are some winnie the pooh things which i just love like i love winnie the pooh but these are just not the normal way that i would wear something like that so we have this little waistcoat which has got so many different colors on it you're literally gonna be like is it elmo it's not elmo what is that what is that um elephant called oh my god what is the elephant called like the patchwork elephant with all the different colors i can't think of its name but that is giving me these kind of vibes but yeah this is basically the first thing so it's this little winnie the pooh waistcoat and what i thought was so cute about it it's got like winnie the pooh on it and um, some honey pots and stuff and then the little flowers that it has on it are like 3d like embroidered on which i thought was really cute so we have a waistcoat and then we also have a matching cardigan with a little collar and everything and Zara models are not very helpful with styling these because they just put two of them together and put some black jeans on and I was like, mm, not really what I'm feeling. So they weren't very helpful with um, any inspiration. But this is what we have next to style. So first off, I am just going to put the two of them together. I feel like it'd be rude if I didn't try and put them together. So we're going to wear the waistcoat kind of like a top and then the cardigan over the top as a cardigan. And then I'm just going to tuck it on with some white wide leg trousers because I couldn't really think of any other way to put these two together because there are so many different colours going on. And I thought even if I picked one colour from them, say for example orange, and put orange trousers on, there is going to be just so much going on. So I thought I'd go with a white wide leg trousers if ever in doubt chuck on a pair of white wide leg trousers they are my go-to i feel like they look good with everything so that is what we're going to do first fingers crossed it works and then for the waistcoat on its own i've decided to pick the green color out from it because obviously like i said there's a lot going on and i feel like if you just pick one color out of it to put with the rest of the outfit it can kind of work so i've picked this green color just because it's so on trend at the moment and basically i'm thinking wearing a white shirt sort of as a dress chucking the waistcoat on over the top and then with some green heels and a green clutch bag that would look quite nice to so tie it in with the green so it's still sort of working but you're not adding too much more color or too much to the outfit so that is that next outfit whether it will work or not again we shall see and then just for the cardigan on its own again not sure whether this will work but i'm hoping it will i'm thinking of going down like an athleisure sort of sporty vibe black leggings black sports bra and then normally i'd wear like a gray hoodie and then wear like a black gilet over the top but instead of the gray hoodie i'm thinking of wearing this cardigan like open 
whether this is going to look it could literally go like one of two ways this and i'm not too sure which way it's going to go and then i did think rather than white sort of chunky socks with some white chunky trainers you could always wear like orange socks or one of the colors in this cardigan to tie it in a little bit more so if you had like a pair of green um kind of trainer socks you could wear them with it if you know what i mean could work could not work but that's the whole point of the video we're giving it a try we're trying something different we shall see next up we have this cardigan which is pretty weighty it's like a little knitted cardigan and i swear i had a cardigan like this when i was younger my mum knitted it for me and i can't quite remember what was on it we've definitely got it somewhere but i couldn't find it for this video but i'm sure it has a little house on it and this has a little house on it and it was making me like this was giving me vibes of this cardigan that I used to wear when I was like four and now like I've come full circle and I'm now 20 and I have this cardigan but yeah it's basically green on one side of the house on it in a sunshine and then orange on the other with a little um, flower on and then on the back there's a little moon and a little tree very colorful and a lot going on and definitely not my style but I do see potential with this one like I do feel like I could be walking down the street in Brighton, maybe, I'm thinking, um, and see someone wearing this and it could look really good and they could look really stylish. And I just feel like this is so cute and it just, like I said, I think because I had a cardigan like this when I was younger, it makes me a bit more attached to this one. But I didn't really know what to do with this, to be honest. I was sort of struggling um, to think about what this could go with. So I've just gone with the white wide leg trousers because like I said, if ever in doubt, and I just felt like I had to show this, like it is kind of an ugly cardigan, but I also feel like it's so cute and it's giving me like my grandma knitted this for me vibes, which is just adorable. So we have that one. And then lastly, we have this one. And I literally spent so long yesterday trying to think what to style this with. And I just couldn't think of anything. It is this snail jumper, which when I was in Zara the other day, I was queuing up with Sophia because she had something to return. And we were in the queue for about 10, 15 minutes. And literally whilst we were in the queue, I saw three or four people go and pick this up from the rail and were carrying it around. So there's obviously something about this jumper that people are loving, but I could not find any pictures on Instagram of people wearing this. And I just did not know what to style it with, but people seem to be loving it. So basically it's a bright sort of like neon colour jumper. We have a little snail on the front and then this bright colour on the back. But people seem to be loving it and I'm just like, am I missing something? I don't know. But anyway, thinking about it now, this would probably work quite well with some little like white Bermuda shorts or some bright pink Bermuda shorts to match in with this. I think it could look quite cute like that. But in terms of trousers and stuff, I just wasn't really sure. Like obviously white wide leg trousers or chuck it on with some mum jeans, but I just felt like it was a bit boring and I wanted to try something a little bit extra or like a little bit more than just like chucking on a pair of jeans with it. But I'm not really too sure what, but there is something about this jumper that a lot of people seem to be loving at the moment. Um, it's a new release to Zara and like I said, people are going crazy for it, but I'm not seeing anyone wearing it, so I couldn't get any inspo for styling it, but there's something about this that people love, so there we go. But yeah, that is it for this video. Thought I'd do something a little bit different. When I saw these items, it just gave me the idea of like trying to style them in a video. So I thought I'd give it a go. I hope you enjoyed it and give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I shall see you at some point soon in another video. Bye.